I am Vishal Jain from Bangalore. I come from Bellari in Karnataka. I have completed my B.Com from Sri Bhavan Mahavir Jain College. Currently pursuing my Masters in Business Management from IIM, Indian Institute of Management, Lucknow. I had more than 90% of eyesight during my childhood, but it has deteriorated to about 15% now. One of my brothers and sister also has uh, the same problem. I come from Bellari, a small town. Neither my school nor my family had awareness about the government and technological assistance available for visually challenged. After 9th, I had to discontinue my studies. I wanted to st study further but didn't know how. I started assisting my father in his business. I started learning music. But still I wanted to, lot of, to do a lot of things but I didn't know how. Visually challenged people were considered as a burden those days. After a long introspection, I realized uh, if I have to lead a normal life, I had to achieve something significant and break the perception. A chance brought me to Bangalore, where I got an understanding about the facilities and opportunities available for visually challenged. Uh, I got in touch with a few NGOs. I learned computers. A few volunteers uh, helped me start my uh, studies again. After a gap of three years, I uh, gave my 10th examinations. And that was the biggest turning point for me. I went into college, get, got into commerce. I also participated in all the extracurricular activities I could. I was privileged to receive appreciation from the President of India, Dr. APJ Abdul Kalam. Meeting and talking to him reinforced the belief that it is not necessary to have an enviable or strong background to achieve greater goals in life. I became more focused. During my undergraduation, I cleared all the rounds in about six multinational companies. Written test, group discussion, interviews, everything. They would always say, it's so exciting to read your profile, it's inspirational and all those big words. But when it came to offering a job, there was a huge question mark. They would say, we don't have uh, awareness on how, you, how to handle, we don't have policies. I always used to think, why people are not open to things? Why can't they explore? They may always find something new, something interesting. About four months after my graduation, I finally got an offer from a small company, marketing of financial products. I was in a dilemma whether to prepare for CAT, which is quite uncertain and just two months away, or take up the offer which I was looking for. I took calculated risk and focused on my CAT exam. And I think that was the greatest decision I have ever taken. Preparing for CAT was a challenging task, especially handling quantitative analysis section. I had not studied mathematics for almost 9 years, but I wanted to clear CAT. So I took up primary school mathematics, started with uh, very basics and very soon I could master it. So finally I could clear CAT. I got admission into uh, Indian Institute of Management. Getting into IIM was a challenging task, but managing at IIM was a lot more challenging. What I studied in one whole year in graduation, they finish off in 10 days, just merely in 10 hours. So it was really challenging to cope with the speed. Uh, I was the first visually challenged student uh, with a different set of requirements uh, in I am Lucknow. Uh, initially, it was uh, it was very challenging to convince people. They were puzzled whether I will be able to manage and cope with the speed. Even uh, students were not aware of how to handle me with me, how to talk to me. 
But as and when I started participating in various events, the things became more simpler. I got selected into Bhavishya, the Social Initiative Committee of uh, IIM Lucknow. I also got selected for the music band. And very soon, both the management and students uh, started cooperating. Once the management understood my requirements, they made all the policy frameworks. They provided all the infrastructure required uh, to make me as independent as possible. I had to suffer a lot just because of lack of awareness. So I, I thought I should do something for others so that nobody else faced this problem. I read a lot and do a lot of research online. So I collected a lot of information about visually challenged. So I thought the same information can be uh, useful if it is available in the website. So I created a website uh, which gives all the details about visually challenged, about various organizations, various technology. I have been managing about uh, more than 12 projects, uh, especially in the social sector. Uh, initiated a few of them. I created an online platform called Linking Leads which works towards uh, connecting uh, students who are in need with volunteers who are willing to help. Synergy uh, is the self-help group of Visually Challenged uh, which is created to create awareness among the Visually Challenged and in general public. If you lend your helping hand to somebody and bring a smile on somebody's face, I think it's the most satisfying moment. I always remember uh, what Mother Teresa said. You may not do big things in life. Do small things but with great love. I intend to become an entrepreneur. I am keen to work in the social sector, maybe in education. I also want to pursue my uh, passion towards music. You might have 100 problems. You might have a weak background, no exposure, no awareness. But it's important to realize that if you have to survive in this world, you have to work with sightings. You may also have to compete with them. To do so, try to get involved in as many activities as possible. Go with your passion and be focused. Come out of your comfort zone and try to do new things. Never fall prey to sympathy. Be confident you can do everything.